What's up, YouTube world? Welcome to another edition of Sorry We're Stoned. What's going on, everyone? I just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I can't believe it. Just some small guy from Canada doing videos and I've got 80 subscribers. Now I know to a lot of you that may not be a lot, but to me it means a lot. So I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. In this video, I'm going to be working on the uh, 66 F350 on the lower cowl. Uh, that way uh, I'm doing one section at a time. I'm trying to really give as much detail as I can to what I'm doing. Not only so I have a record for myself, but so I have a record for you guys to copy off of if you need to do any kind of work at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I, I make mistakes. I'm human just like everyone else, and this is all very new to me. So, don't take my word as gospel, but you're more than welcome to follow along. And once again, thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell notifications so you can be informed when I get new videos up and out to you. Thanks again. All right, everyone, we're back onto the truck again. Today, I'm going to be finished grinding off the excess seams and taking that there piece off so we can get a look inside and see what's going on there and kind of work our magic in there and see what happens. I'm going to get on to cutting away the seam or grinding away the seam, and we'll go from there. Talk to you in a bit. All right, now that I've got a piece of this uh, kick plate removed. We can really get a good look to see what's going on inside. You can see clearly that right there is the bottom of this same piece of sheet metal that goes all the way down to there. Now, I'm going to have to replicate that. And that little bracket on there, I'll have to replicate that. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. But there's a little step that goes across there. Steps in, and then the panel continues upwards. So, I think that the metal... Uh, because it has this heavy-duty steel piece in here, I think that if I replace it up to that part, I'll be good. But we'll have to see what happens. All right, so what I've done here is I've just prepped the area where I'm going to cut this cowl so I can get back inside there fix all this stuff and get it correct so i'll get back to you as soon as i've got this all cut out
Okay, so now that we got most of it cut, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this final piece by the seam so I don't wreck it. And I'm going to use the grinder so I can do it gently. Okay, so now we can get a close look and see exactly what's going on in behind here. And now you'll be able to see exactly how I said we save this and we make this into our template so we can recreate this whole thing. This is wonderful. I'm so glad it's going this way. I'll get back to you next step all right everyone just to bring you back up to date on where we are I drilled out the spot weld that held the uh, retainer for the door bolts on I drilled out the spot welds for that and removed it I've grinded most of the top piece of this pretty clean. There's a big thick piece of metal in here. And what I've done is I've cut out this section here. And I measured it, sorry, from there, 12 inch, all the way down to the bottom of this piece right here see if it'll focus that piece right there so that seam is all the same seam that needs to attach back up to this seam right here so what I've done is I've marked it at 12 inch and I've cut it into the metal but because I've got rotting metal here and everything I've got to take it all away, so I just want some access to see what it looks like in behind. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, is take a chance and have a look-see. Gives me an idea of what I'm dealing with now, right? I can see every single thing now. And that's kind of what we want. Now this piece of metal here, this is still very, very strong. It's like brand new metal after all these years, since 1966. I just cleaned it up. Now this on the other hand, this here, that's pretty solid, but that's only because it got this big piece of steel in behind it. And you can see the actual thickness once you get up here at that C channel there. So all this where the step is is going to be cut out all right everyone welcome back uh just been doing a little work in behind the scenes here drilled out a few of the spot welds here here and here and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut across i've made a mark in there that goes along with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this line right across here to the side. And that should come right off because the only thing that was holding this to the other piece of sheet metal was these spot welds. And I've removed them. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those and get back to you. All I'm using for this cut 
is the air uh, reciprocating saw. Um, and then on the side here, I'll probably continue using the reciprocating saw, the air reciprocating saw. I'm going to put that on video. And then to do the final touch in the corner, I don't know yet how I'm going to work that. I might use a Dremel. But we'll get to that when we get to that.
last little bit here uh, to go from the cut to the spot weld. I think I'm just going to use my Dremel tool to get that out and then I'll get right back to you. I just got to get my Dremel set up and get her going. Just like that, that's off. Now we can look inside, see what's what. All this looks pretty good, so we're not in bad shape. And I have a template to go by. All right, everyone, I'm back. Uh, I've made up my templates. And uh, I'm just going to take a second here and show you how I did it. I brought the piece inside. And like I said, you know, just lay it up there and measure it up. It'll give me a rough idea where things have to go. And the basic templates, you can see. How it lines right up to the corner there. And... I've done the same on the bottom here. Let's see if I can get that lined up there. Now that it's freed up a bit there. There we are. Get that lined up there. That goes on there. Now I can redo this whole template now because it's out of the truck. But the left and the right, so the driver's side and passenger side, are both the same. As well as the kick plates. I did the uh, templates for the kick plates. They are identical. Other than where the vents go. So on the passenger side, the vent is a little different. Then the driver's side. The driver's side is way up top, almost underneath the dash. So, what I did was I took those paper templates and I copied them onto this cardboard, including the, um, the seam that we'll end up punching holes in. And then I took it 
one step further and I got this board it's an illustration board and here you can have a look on the back here exactly what it is and I copy all my templates now again like I said the uh, the kick panel is exactly the same driver side passenger side they're all the same same with this piece down here and this piece here is the same passenger and driver side so we can use these now to lay on cut them out lay them on steel and make new ones the only thing i have left to do is make a template of this and i won't throw away any of this until i've got my steel templates made and everything fits correctly because a lot of people will just cut this out and start going and and throw this out thinking oh i'm done with it and then when they need it they don't have it so never throw out your used parts until you're absolutely sure you're done with them that way if you ever need them you can go back and get them all right everyone i think that's going to do it for today we got quite a bit of work done i just wanted to quickly give a quick shout out to uh, cars auto recycling and fitzy's fabrication both of them are youtube channels and i really encourage you to go check them out if you're doing any kind of body work uh, because these two are top notch and they just happen to be like me a canadian believe it or not so go check them out and thanks again for watching don't forget to like subscribe and of course share take care guys